Hello everyone, my name is Araya Long and I am a graduate assistant at UIC's Library of Health Sciences. Today we are going to search PubMed, the premier database for biomedical literature. You can conveniently access PubMed by clicking on its icon at the UIC Library homepage. I am interested in researching food insecurity in black communities, so I'm going to type out in quotes food insecure asterisk or food access, excuse me, in quotes, the word or again, and then in quotes, food supply with an asterisk, and parentheses, the word and, rural, the word and again, and then in parentheses, black, or in quotes, African American with an asterisk, and in quote, and parentheses. Note that parentheses go around an entire concept rather than individual terms. Words that you want multiple endings for need this asterisk. For example, for the word insecurity, we may want to accept insecure, insecurities in our search, etc. So that's why we typed out I-N-S-E-C-U-R with that asterisk to indicate this. In PubMed, anytime you use OR, AND, or NOT as a connector, these are called Boolean operators. Keep in mind, anytime you use OR to separate two words, those words should always be placed inside the same set of parentheses. And that's because when you use OR, you're telling the database that either term is OK. It doesn't have to look for both terms, since they are interchangeable for the search. If you don't put the parentheses there, it'll get confused and it won't combine those terms with the rest of your search statement, whereas the Boolean operator AND connects separate concepts and is outside of the parentheses. We didn't use NOT as a connector, but this operator excludes terms. So let's go ahead and press enter on our search from before. On the left side of the page, you will see various search filters. The text availability fields are helpful, but at UIC we are usually always able to get you the full text of whatever source you come across via interlibrary loan, so don't restrict your search with this option. Feel free to chat with a librarian on the UIC library website if you ever need help with this. Above that, there is a handy sliding scale to filter your results by year. Or towards the bottom of the filters, you can input a custom range. You can also select from the last year, 5 years, or 10 years. You can filter by article types, which is helpful as well, especially if you're looking for review articles, randomized control trials, etc. You can find more article types by pressing the additional filters button. Here you will find different options for language, age, and more. Let's discuss results. It looks like we got 90. I'm going to select this article about COVID-19 and food insecurity. When you first click on an article, you will see basic information such as the authors and a brief abstract. On the right side of the screen, you will see a section that says Full Text Links. The Find It at UIC button is a key way for you as a student to access the full text of any article you find on PubMed. Right beneath that section, you will see the Cite button. The Cite button will create a citation for you in AMA, APA, or MLA format. Notice if you go further to the right of the page, or left, you will see that there are arrows available for you to navigate to the other search results. If you are unable to view a full text, you can do an interlibrary loan request, which I will be going over shortly. Before we leave PubMed, let's navigate to Mesh Terms. These stand for Medical Subject Headings. Mesh terms are the official words that PubMed uses to tag the major concepts in every article. If you find the mesh terms that are associated with your search topic and search using those terms, you will have a better chance of finding all the articles on that topic, no matter what words the authors use in their titles or abstracts. Our current result does not have any mesh terms, so I'm going to select the first result. And you will see the mesh terms located towards the bottom of the page or on the right side navigation bar. One nice thing about mesh terms is that they can help you specify your search. You can add any mesh term to your current search or search the mesh term on its own. Now I want to highlight the interlibrary loan feature that I mentioned to you earlier. 
If you come across a source that is not available at UIC, you can request articles and items by accessing your ILLiad account. Head to My Accounts at the bottom or top of the UIC Library homepage. If you select Interlibrary Loan, it will take you to the Request Items page. From here, you can select Login to ILLiad and you will be prompted to create your account with your UIC credentials. After your account has been made, you can submit your request manually or through the autofill feature. There are step-by-step -step directions for requesting books and media on the Request Items page. If you need assistance with ILL, feel free to chat with a librarian or check out the library's video that walks you through this process more in depth. That concludes our demo on PubMed. If you would like to learn more about the advanced features of PubMed or another database, feel free to schedule an appointment with a librarian. Check out the links in the description below to view our other videos, access research guides, make an appointment with a librarian, and more. The Library of Health Sciences thanks you for watching.